Well, thank you for this. I'm very happy to uh, receive the Change Maker Award and be associated with other fine change makers uh, in that uh, fellowship. Um, I want to say a little bit about uh, our club at uh, Kelly. Um, it is a student initiated club, uh, although I have a history in social struggles over the years. It's really the students who uh, encourage the creation of this club and uh, have helped direct its work. So I take some credit, but they must also take a great deal of credit. Uh, one of my students is here tonight, Anna Chu. She's graduated Kelly and gone on to uh, study nursing at North Park University in one of our many success stories. And uh, uh, she represents many other students who were unable to be here who have uh, really pushed our club's work forward. Uh, we were just uh, uh, yesterday and Monday, because it's Halloween, we were selling fair trade chocolate at a table at the school. And, uh, getting signatures on a campaign that's uh, sponsored by Global Exchange to get uh, uh, Chicago's finest chocolate to begin carrying a fair trade line. Uh, many of you may know that uh, uh, Chicago's finest is a mainstay of school and other fundraising events. And it would be very nice that a lot of nonprofits and so forth who uh, use their uh, chocolate would have an option of doing fair, tri fair trade and uh, we would like to help encourage that. So we're doing a signature campaign and I hope that we may do more things to pressure them over this year and the years to come. Uh, and uh, as you mentioned, Martine's help with us. Martine, thank you for all the help you've given us in Chicago Fair Trade. Um, uh, fairness is at least something that seems to be innate in the human being and a, a concept that people actually latch on to very, very early in life and uh, equality and these things are important to us and it's kind of easy to get distracted from them in our adult lives when we're worried about uh, getting a house or the car or the baby or whatever, but it's nice with high school students uh, as their awareness of the world is getting greater to have a chance to think about these concepts and where they fit into this world. So much of our, the unfairness is uh, divorced from us in our global world. You don't see the exploitation, you don't see the suffering uh, day to day. We see something else in our more comfortable communities here. Uh, uh, fortunately for me at Kelly, uh, which has a high uh, immigrant population, in fact many of our students, parents or grandparents may have come from a situation where they were more exploited and uh, underpaid in their labor, partly why they ended up coming here to seek a uh, fairer life. But it also gives our students a chance to understand their own family context as well as the global context. And it's a, it's a nice synergy in terms of the uh, lessons learned. So I think for all of us, our job really is to make this uh, distant and invisible uh, exploitation real and the possibility of the alternative of a fair world where producers are paid uh, their just wages and uh, we pay uh, a fair price and an honest price for the things we consume. Uh, this, is a, this is a laudable goal. It's gonna be an uphill struggle for us, uh, but uh, seeing all of you here gives me a great deal of hope. Thank you very much. Yeah.